Hey you guys, welcome to your uh, bi-weekly love reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising uh, for the remainder of October 2023. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, uh, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Uh, also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. All right, so we have the overall energy as the Ten of Swords. We have Justice. We have the Ace of Cups. Three of Swords. Magician. Uh, Four of Wands. I'm sorry, the Lovers. The Ace of Swords. And the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. So, I kind of feel like you guys are dealing with some sort of losses or grief. Um, maybe you are, you know, cutting ties with people from your past. Um, maybe a relationship ended that really affected your mindset and maybe you no longer believe in certain things anymore um i feel like maybe there is a part of you that is undergoing some sort of change or death of the ego um if you were in a relationship even if you had just met somebody um i feel like shortly afterwards it it ends like i feel like something didn't last for very long um and because not necessarily because it wasn't meant to be it's just that that was the agreement that you guys had um spiritually you know i feel like the spiritual agreement was only meant to be short-lived and so that contract has been fulfilled and it's like having to let it go or release, you know, the person. Um, so I feel like the month of October is about like letting go, cutting ties with your past, um, you know, maybe even dealing with the energy of an ex. So that's another thing I can see is that if this is more so about somebody coming towards you, whoever's coming towards you, I feel like may have just come out of a breakup, but it might be a fresh breakup. Um, so you always have to be cautious about that because you might likely just be a rebound um, or be, you know, someone who's like a distraction for someone who's hurting. Um, I kind of feel that you're also going to be dealing with some kind of mind games. Mm. Someone might be sending mixed energies or I'm sorry, mixed signals like one minute this person wants to talk to you. The next minute they don't want to talk or they're not answering um, or responding to texts or calls. It could be that someone is just trying to string you alone. It also seems like the minute you make up your mind, the minute you decide that you're done uh, with somebody, their energy pops back up because they can feel you cutting them off. They're like, wait a minute, something feels different. Then all of a sudden they're calling you or reaching out to you. Um, I honestly am not feeling the energies. I feel like there's a lot of unrequited energies. You might even be having like a little bit of a pity party um, or feeling like, you know, woe is me, um, my luck, what what's going on with my luck, my life. Um, I, I just feel that you're, in a sense, suffering. You also might be quietly suffering. People don't know that you're going through some sort of depression um, or some sort of darkness, like on the inside, it's like a storm going on within you, but maybe you're kind of hiding that. Um, it also looks like there could be a sense of betrayal, 
So I don't know if you felt betrayed by somebody. Um, it does seem that maybe you were talking to someone and then someone intervened. Someone came and stopped you from moving forward with this other person. Maybe you had just started getting to know somebody and then all of a sudden their ex is calling them and talking about they want to get back together. And so it's kind of like that ex came in between the two of you. Um, so I feel like in a situation where someone is torn, you end up feeling rejected. It could be reverse. Maybe you're the one rejecting somebody. Um, but it does look like, you know, somebody is feeling rejected or like another person got chosen over them. Um, I feel like somebody also might have hurt somebody's feelings. Either you hurt somebody's feelings or you end up getting your feelings hurt. Um, try not to beat yourself up for things that just didn't work out. Um, understand that, you know, people come into your life for a reason. Um, and once that reason has been fulfilled, you know, it's it's just time to detach and move on. Um, I feel that something has been unfair or maybe you feel like you've been dealt an unfair hand. Um, even if you do stay in a relationship and it's, there's not a breakup, you still might be hurting. You still might be feeling like your partner doesn't do enough for you. Your partner doesn't pay attention to you. Uh, if you are not getting a response from somebody, like maybe you were flirting with somebody or like I said, it started off, you um, felt like you connected with somebody um, and then there's a disconnect or somebody cuts the other person off. Um, something I was getting ready to say. How did it slip my mind that quick? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I was getting ready to say another reason why someone may have stopped talking to you is because they maybe just felt like they weren't good enough or could not live up to your standards. Um, and so maybe they decided to take themselves out of the equation, um, especially in a situation where there is some sort of twin flame energy. I feel like maybe somebody felt like I'll never compare to their twin flame and just kind of like let the situation alone. All right, so hopefully these messages help, uh, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending you love and grace.